30,000 pounds of steel crashes into the ocean with thunderous force. Each link of chain weighs 136 pounds. The USS Gerald Ford's anchor system weighs more than 15 cars combined. When this massive anchor chain deploys, sailors treat it like a chained dragon. One wrong move and it could drag a person overboard. The force is so powerful that once it starts moving, it becomes nearly impossible to stop. These aren't just numbers. This is the incredible reality of how America's most powerful warships stay exactly where they need to be. The engineering behind stopping a 100,000 ton aircraft carrier will blow your mind. The United States Navy operates the most advanced aircraft carriers on Earth. These floating cities carry over 5,000 crew members and 75 aircraft. But here's what most people don't know. When these massive ships need to stop and hold position, they rely on anchor systems so powerful and dangerous that special safety procedures protect the sailors operating them. Today we're diving deep into the incredible world of aircraft carrier anchor systems. You'll discover the massive engineering behind these chains, the dangerous deployment procedures, and why these systems are absolutely critical to America's naval power. If you're amazed by American military engineering, type PROUD in the comments below. Let's start with the numbers that will shock you. The newest USS Gerald Ford class carriers use anchor systems that dwarf anything most people can imagine. Each anchor weighs 30,000 pounds. That's heavier than a fully loaded school bus. The anchor chain stretches 1,440 feet long. Every single link in that chain weighs 136 pounds. But here's where it gets even more incredible. The older Nimitz class carriers actually use even heavier systems. Each Nimitz carrier has two anchors weighing 60,000 pounds each. The chain links on these ships weigh up to 365 pounds per link. When you add up one complete anchor and chain system on a Nimitz carrier, you're looking at 735,000 pounds of steel. Both anchor systems combined weigh nearly 1.5 million pounds. Think about that for a moment. The anchor system alone weighs as much as 375 cars. This massive weight isn't just for show. It's absolutely necessary to hold a 100,000 ton aircraft carrier in place against ocean currents, wind, and waves. The chain design follows a specific structure that's been perfected over decades. Navy engineers measure anchor chains in sections called shots. Each shot is exactly 90 feet long. These shots connect together with special detachable links. The Navy uses a color coding system on these links so sailors can tell exactly how much chain has been deployed just by looking at the deck. Most aircraft carriers carry over 1,000 feet of anchor chain per anchor. The general rule for safe anchoring is to deploy chain that's five to seven times deeper than the water. So if a carrier anchors in 60 feet of water, they'll deploy between 300 to 420 feet of chain. This creates the proper scope needed to hold the massive ship securely. But what happens when these monster chains actually deploy? The process is both fascinating and terrifying. When an aircraft carrier approaches its anchoring position, the bridge gives the order to stand by. This sets off a carefully coordinated sequence that requires absolute precision. Sailors on the forecastle release all but one of the chain stoppers. The windlass brake gets released so the entire weight of the anchor rests on just one remaining stopper. Here's where the danger becomes real. With everyone standing clear of the chain area, a sailor uses a sledgehammer to knock loose something called a pelican hook. The moment that hook releases, the anchor plunges into the water with tremendous force. The sound is described as a great roar that echoes across the ship. The chain follows the anchor down with incredible speed and power. This is why Navy safety procedures are so strict during anchor deployment. A second sailor actually holds a safety strap connected to the first sailor's back. Why? Because if someone gets caught by that moving chain, they could be dragged overboard in seconds. Once the chain starts moving, stopping it becomes nearly impossible. The momentum of 30,000 to 60,000 pounds of anchor plus hundreds of feet of heavy chain creates forces that no human can control. The sailors who operate these systems know they're working with what they call a chained dragon. The anchor hits the seabed and begins to dig in. The ship's captain then orders the engines to back down slowly. 
This backing motion causes the anchor's flukes to bite deep into the ocean floor. The flukes are the triangular-shaped ends of the anchor that grab into sand, mud, or rock on the seabed. Before we explore more of this incredible engineering, here's a quick request. If this content interests you, please hit that like button and subscribe. Most viewers watch without subscribing, but your subscription helps us bring you more amazing military content. The anchor itself isn't the only thing holding the carrier in place. The weight of the chain plays a crucial role too. When properly deployed, the chain creates a catenary curve between the ship and the anchor. This curve absorbs shock loads from waves and wind. It's like a massive shock absorber made of steel. But even with all this engineering, aircraft carrier anchoring has limitations. The chains aren't long enough for deep ocean anchoring. Most warship anchor chains measure between 300 to 1,000 feet. In deep ocean, where water depth can reach thousands of feet, these chains simply can't reach the bottom. That's why aircraft carriers rarely anchor in deep water. Instead, they stay under power using their nuclear reactors. The carriers can operate continuously for over 20 years without refueling their nuclear plants. This gives them incredible staying power compared to conventional ships. When carriers do anchor, they face environmental challenges that would defeat smaller vessels. Strong winds can create enough force to make even a properly set anchor drag across the seabed. Ocean currents add additional stress to the anchor and chain system. The combination of wind and current can create forces measured in thousands of pounds pulling against the anchor. The International Maritime Organization defines anchor dragging as an anchor moving over the sea bottom involuntarily because it is no longer preventing the movement of the vessel. When this happens to an aircraft carrier, the consequences could be catastrophic. A drifting carrier could collide with other ships or run aground. That's why carrier crews monitor their position constantly when anchored. Officers check the ship's location every hour using both visual sighting and electronic navigation equipment. They watch for any signs that the anchor might be dragging. Maintaining these massive anchor systems requires constant attention. The chains face wear from friction against the seabed every time they're deployed. Salt water causes corrosion that weakens the steel over time. Navy maintenance crews inspect every link regularly, looking for signs of wear, cracks, or corrosion damage. Recently, the USS Nimitz made history by having its own crew remove and maintain the anchor and chain system instead of hiring civilian contractors. This was the first time an aircraft carrier crew had taken on this massive job themselves. It demonstrates the incredible skill and dedication of America's Navy sailors. The process of removing an anchor chain is a major operation. Each 90-foot shot of chain on a Nimitz carrier contains 57 individual links. Those 57 links weigh a combined 20,500 pounds. Sailors must carefully lift and move each section using specialized equipment and procedures. Storage of these chains when not in use is another engineering challenge. Below deck, each carrier has huge compartments called chain lockers. These spaces must be large enough to hold over 1,000 feet of heavy chain while keeping it organized for rapid deployment. The chain locker connects to the anchor windlass through the hawse pipe. The hawse pipe is a large tube that guides the chain from the storage area below deck to the anchor position on the bow. This tube must be strong enough to handle the tremendous forces when the chain deploys at high speed. Modern aircraft carriers use either electric, hydraulic, or steam-powered windlasses to control the anchor and chain. These machines have enough power to lift tens of thousands of pounds of anchor and chain. They include clutches and brakes that allow operators to control the speed of deployment and retrieval. The windlass operators require extensive training. They must understand the tremendous forces involved and how to safely manage the deployment process. One mistake could damage equipment worth millions of dollars or injure crew members. Future developments in aircraft carrier anchor systems may include smart technology. Engineers are exploring sensors that could monitor chain tension and seabed conditions in real time. Automated systems might make deployment and retrieval safer and more efficient. Some proposed systems would integrate with the ship's navigation computers to automatically adjust anchor scope based on weather conditions and sea state. This could reduce the workload on sailors while improving the reliability of the anchoring system. 
the strategic importance of these anchor systems extends beyond just keeping the ship in place. Aircraft carriers need to maintain stable positions during flight operations. Even small movements can affect aircraft launch and recovery operations. When conducting flight operations while anchored, the carrier must remain perfectly steady. The anchor system provides this stability, allowing pilots to safely launch and land on the flight deck. This capability is essential for maintaining America's naval aviation power around the world. The anchor systems also enable carriers to respond quickly in emergency situations. If a carrier needs to establish a stable platform for rescue operations or disaster relief, the anchor system allows rapid positioning. This rapid deployment capability has proven crucial during humanitarian missions. Aircraft carriers represent America's ability to project power anywhere in the world's oceans. The anchor systems are a critical part of this capability. They allow these floating air bases to establish temporary bases wherever they're needed. The engineering behind these systems reflects decades of American innovation and expertise. From the metallurgy of the steel chains to the precision of the deployment mechanisms, every component represents the highest standards of naval engineering. American shipbuilders at Newport News Shipbuilding have perfected these systems over generations of aircraft carrier construction. The knowledge and skills required to build and maintain these anchor systems represent a unique American capability. The sailors who operate these systems deserve recognition for their skill and bravery. Working with equipment, this powerful and dangerous requires extensive training, constant vigilance, and absolute professionalism. These men and women keep America's most valuable naval assets safe and operational. When you see an aircraft carrier anchored off a foreign coast, remember the incredible engineering that keeps it in position. Those massive chains and anchors represent American technological superiority and the dedication of the sailors who operate them. The next time someone asks how the Navy stops a 100,000 ton aircraft carrier, you'll know the answer. It takes 30,000 to 60,000 pounds of anchor, over 1,000 feet of chain with individual links weighing hundreds of pounds, and the skill of America's finest sailors operating systems so powerful they're treated like chain dragons. These anchor systems embody the same American spirit that built our nation's naval supremacy. They combine raw power with precision engineering, operated by sailors who represent the best of American military tradition. The massive anchor chains of America's aircraft carriers stand as symbols of our naval strength. They demonstrate our ability to deploy, position, and maintain the most powerful warships ever built anywhere in the world's oceans. This incredible technology keeps America's floating fortresses exactly where they need to be, ready to defend freedom and project American power around the globe. The engineering is impressive, but the sailors who operate these systems are what truly make America's Navy the finest in the world. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into aircraft carrier anchor systems. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible American military technology, Please like this video and subscribe for more amazing content about our armed forces. What other aspects of aircraft carrier operations would you like to see covered? Let us know in the comments below.